Okay, so I'm on the Moonraker Miner 2, which has now been replaced by the Moonraker Miner 2 Extra, I think, or Plus, or something like that, over Okay, well, I'll talk a bit closer. It's one of these with an electric condenser mic. Yeah, it's, it's not quiet, it just sounds rubbish. Oh, okay then, right, fair enough. So, uh, have you set off? Yeah, Roger that, just on to the main road now. Okay, Roger. For an unusual test, he's going to go six and a half miles and we'll see whether we can do that, I have every faith we will and on the way back we're going to switch this to EU channels and then to AM because we found it could do that and if you remember that's when the RF gain control actually works because it doesn't in FM mode which is a disappointment so Roger on that, got your Ancaster service station we're running it on its own speaker as we always do on these tests. Roger got you at Ancaster Crossroads. And I'm going to switch in the auto squelch, but it's preset in reality. And in the hope that we can carry on receiving him okay. The transmit bar graph has no relevance to the RF output. As far as I can see, it's just a glorified I'll transfer. Take a backwards to the bad TX audio, it's not rubbish. I mean, it's not the best I've heard, but it just sounds, I don't know, pinched or compressed or something. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do at the end of the test then. I'll put the camcorder in front of our base station just so the viewers can listen to the audio um, from here to there, over. I didn't get you at the top of the hill. Uh, did you forget, or was it me over? Talking to you about um, the audio issue, so that was the top of the hill, to be honest. Okay, that's fine. So you're going around Scratchy Corner. Well, that was all right, wasn't it? But the receive on the receive sensitivity on this radio is fine. If you remember, it, we did the tune-up. It came doing 2.9 watts and by the time we'd done the tune-up it was doing 3.2 watts Roger got you at Willsford level crossing that's loud and clear uh, one of the things I will mention Mr C is this radio is 3.2 watts is the maximum we could tune it up to it Yeah, most definitely on frequency. Crossing, uh, Kelby level crossing, sir. Roger got you at Kelby level crossing, and that's loud and clear. So that's one of the more difficult points, but this, this I'll start again, this receiver has very good sensitivity Roger I've got you at the grey lease turn that's very good over ah Roger So his final call will be at the six mile point and then I'll have him double back round the roundabout which I'll add another half mile on and then we'll switch this over to EU and then AM. But it has continued to work. Okay Roger, I've got your raw speed level crossing. As you turn round the roundabout give me another call please and then I'll switch this over to um, channel 40. EU AM over. 
Yes, I'll do that later when you come back. I'll switch this back over. Okay, uh, so I'm at point and I'm just roundabout. I'll sign out and I'll switch over. Okay, Roger. So he's gone round the roundabout. We'll go into the other mode. Now, if I remember rightly, we switch the set off, put it on channel 9, switch it back on, and then change it into, I think it was E1. EU, let's try that. So we've got, that should be FM, oh we're also scroll still, Tango 21 calling Mr. Chippy. Do you receive over? Tango 21, Mr. Chippy. Yeah, Tango 21 receiving. Okay, on your way back then over. Okay, well, it's not as crisp as the uh, how you was received when we were doing the. Um, last one we did like this which was the Thunderpole T3000 so he's now starting off six and a half miles away and coming back towards me I'll put the auto squelch on it certainly worked all right on that on FM it received very well on FM I've got no moans whatsoever I think the only moan he's he is it's Mr Chippy is saying the transmitted audio is not as good as some sets and of course we know this thing's only doing 3.2 watts and although it got choppy at one of the points said Mr C um, at least he was able to talk to me from six and a half miles away Roger got you at Grayley's over Roger, I've got you passing the turn for Kelby. Oh right, well there's another good thing. That's not something I will be able to record because the base station here is FM only. Roger got you at Wheelsford level crossing and we'll see how it works going around that scratchy corner because uh, the last AM one we did was actually better than FM going around there over. Okay. It's absolutely incredible, you wouldn't think it was the same route uh, it just works so much better on AM there, not everywhere else at the extreme it's not as good but on round scratchy corner it's better, it's like BBC quality over Fair enough uh, for me it's actually slightly worse because as you come past that row of houses uh, there's some interference which shows much more on AM than ever Yep, Roger on that Okay, got you at the top of the hill loud and clear. That's the crossroads, static. Yep, that's loud and clear. It's passing Lancaster service station. Okay, right, well that's uh, that's fine. So um, we can conclude the test at that. 
and I suggest you come in for five or ten minutes while I just finish this off and prepare the next sets for test over. Yeah, I'll do that, no problem. Okay, I'll just move the camcorder over to the base station in my living room and we'll turn this radio back to UK FM. So we'll switch it off, channel 9, switch it back on. Back to UK, switch it off. Switch it to UK and see whether it's still on 31 when I've moved it and disconnected the power. Right, we'll move it over to the uh, the camcorder over to the other room.